Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of Throw. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own character be retargeted with the motion matching sample. Might look a little odd, but if you want to do this with your own character, you can. And let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go on over and import, import my character. And I just applied the material to it. And what you want to do is just in the same folder, what I'm going to do is just right click and under animation, I'm going to go to retargeting and create an IK rig. And I'm going to call this something like IK underscore cow. And I'm just going to double click to open this up. And I want to select that cow skeleton that I have set. And now I'm going to want to go through one by one and just kind of set the retargeting up based on the bones versus what the UE mannequin is. So for the root, I'm just going to right click and set this as new target chain and leave it as or add the chain as root. And then for the root M for this bone, this is a very customized skeleton. So mine might be a little more difficult than yours. I'm just going to right click and set this as the retarget root, which is usually referring to the pelvis. And then we're going to go ahead and do the rest. So I'll select my spine and chest. And I'll just add this as spine. And then from my neck part one to three, I'm just going to retarget this as neck. And then I'm just adding these as my head part. And then I'm going to change my scapula to my right clavicle. And then I'll just select my shoulder to my wrist because I don't have any hands on this character and right click and set the retarget as right arm. And now I'm just going to copy this for my left. And then for my leg, I'm just going to highlight over my leg, set new retarget chain and just call it right leg and so on. And then, and now after all that's done, I didn't get to set any for tail cause I'm not too sure what that would be, but yeah, since there is no tailbone on the UEFN mannequin, I'm just going to leave it blank, which won't really cause any issues. It's going to look funky anyways, because my character is, my character is stylized and not really looking like the type to climb around but yeah so this this looks pretty good to me next what i'm going to do is go back to my default level folder right click go to animation select retargeting and create an ik retargeter and i'll call this rtg underscore cow and i'll just double click on this to open it up and now i'm going to for the source i'm going to select that ik uefn mannequin and then for the target IK, I'm going to select my, my cow that I just created and I'll just select my cow. And then for the target mesh offset, I'm just going to change it so that it is up a little bit and to the right of it. I don't want them to overlap. And now what I'm going to do is just click on my source and then click this running retarget. And then I want to auto align all bones. Now this character, for some reason, it looks a bit twisted up, but I'm just going to go ahead and try this out because this actually still works for me, but your character might look pretty, pretty sturdy if you have correct bone names and so on. So now what I'm going to do is go over to my blueprints folder, and then I'm going to click retargeted characters and I'll just select one of these. So I'll just do the CBP sandbox character, Manny hit control D to duplicate and call this CVP underscore cow. And I'll just drag this to be my default pawn class and I'll double click to open it. And in the blueprint editor, I'm just gonna go under this mini and then I'll change the skeletal mesh to my cow and I'll click compile. Now, while mini is selected in the search, I wanna search for component and you're gonna see this text that says RTG, so retarget UEFN to UE5 mannequin. That's what it was before, but I'm gonna highlight over it and erase it and then do something or type something like RTG underscore cow and then hit compile and save. Now you're going to see in the viewport that my character hasn't actually changed yet. So I'm just going to exit out of this and reopen it. And he's still T posing, which means he's not working hundred percent. And that's because in our animation blueprint, we need to set it that RTG cow, which is going to point to our IK retargeter. So I'll click on this to open this up open up that ABP generic target and in this IK retargeter map, which you can go in the event graph, you'll see a list of these IK retargeter maps. I'm just going to hit this plus sign to add one. 
and I'll call this RTG cow, which matches the component name that we set over here. And it needs to be, it needs to match or else it won't work. And then I'm going to select that RTG cow that we created. So I'll hit compile and save. And now you'll see that my character is actually moving. So I'm going to make sure it's just a little above this capsule box. And I'll just hit play for now. I won't adjust the capsule box just yet. And I'll go to my map and hit play. And now you'll see that my character is working just fine. And he's able to climb. And it looks really weird because my character is pretty short and all, but it still works. <laughs> and that's a pretty quick tutorial on how to get your own stylized character to work with this. Honestly, this motion map, this game animation sample is super fun to play around with. I've been playing around with it a lot. Um, it is really nice. I do love how fluid the movements are and so on. And yeah, I could honestly just play with this all day. It's so fun. And yeah, that's a really short and easy way to convert your stylized character using an IK retargeter to set it up with um, with this game anim sample. Thanks for watching Code of the Road. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.